what's up sub fans <laughs> all about the weights here we're back with another sunday dinner edition appetizer style yes but before we do go any further i just want to say big up enough enough love to all our new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing and we do appreciate you and to all our regular family subscribers guys big up to you as well and get ready for the nyamins <laughs> so guys today we'll be having sip before we have dinner so that's gonna be our appetizer if you're not familiar with sip i'm gonna be telling you some more about it right but for right now i want you to like this video share this video and tell all your new friends to subscribe if they haven't done so so far all right so for right now just relax yourself and get ready for the nyamins. Now the two main ingredients of sip are the coconut milk and the red peas or you can just use peanuts instead of red peas your choice my favorite variety of coconut to use is the native coconut it's creamy has more flavor and yeah sweet so i pre-cracked the coconut guys to drink the water so you won't see any water running out here all right <laughs> So next I'm preparing my dough to make the spinners and uh, also will be peeling and cutting carrots, pieces of yam and I have a little piece of dashi so I'm gonna throw that in there as well and um, prepare my thyme, scallion, pepper, you know, just my little seasoning to flavor it up some more. You guys gonna love the sip, alright? So I've been cooking sip for some years now guys and it's one of my, I would say it's one of the favorites of my family. They, they love this, trust me. So basically if you're someone who would like to drink some soup or let me just say eat, it should be eat soup. <laughs> so guys if you, love, if you love to eat soup and you enjoy your soup but you just don't want uh, to have a lot of meat or anything like that. So sip is like a substitute, it's like a, um, an ital soup then, right? So the rastas know what I'm talking about, yeah? So what you basically do, you replace the, you can still have your protein. So the protein is going to be the red peas. So what you do is to replace the red peas. You replace the, the meat that you normally have in soup with the red peas or the peanut. You still get the protein, right? And... For the cock soup mix, you take that out and use your coconut milk. So it's all natural. All you have to do is add a little sea salt to taste it up. All right. And um, for some people, you don't really have to put in any salt 
but i add i add a little salt to my sip and um it's very tasty you know spice it up nice it up so don't leave your scotch bonnet pepper out or your hot pepper your thyme you need all of those for flavoring right so the first thing you're actually adding when you're um preparing your sip first you have to cook your peas or if you're using peanuts you cook your peanuts first all right you're gonna prepare your coconut milk and um as for the ground food guys uh you can use your yam your dasheen uh your chocho any of those um um grown foods will be perfect for the sip and i like to add corn to my sip but for this time i don't have any corn in my kitchen so yeah but i love corns so you can add your corn and spinach you know even when you're having soup you know you can't leave out the dumplings so it's the same thing with the sip guys but just watch me you're gonna enjoy it once your peanuts or your red peas are cooked guys so all you need to add after this now is your spinners and your yam corns etc then you add your coconut milk to taste don't forget your carrots your thyme your scallion your pepper yes and a little sea salt to taste afterwards all right and then you're good again Thanks for coming guys, like, share, subscribe, comment.